What is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, and today you guys are going to be watching a double KM strike with the Honey Badger on Warhawk, playing some Blitz with only one of my buddies. So, you know, it's kind of something different. Normally, you guys are used to seeing a lot of Blitz gameplays where it's me and five other people, but, um, you know, this is it's not the case in this gameplay. It's just me and one of my buddies that I play with in real life. Um, but I didn't really want to talk about the gameplay for the entire commentary because Lord knows I have enough gameplay um, only videos on my channel. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the best gun in Call of Duty Ghost. Now, whenever I play with subscribers, and uh, if you are a subscriber and you do want to play with me, the best way to play with me or to get into touch with me or ask me a question or anything is over Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle is at SoSuperior, exactly like my channel and gamertag, but I mean, it's like my gamertag, but without the space. Uh, link will be in the description for that. You can just click on it, follow me, and then I'll tweet out a lot like, hey, I'm looking for some subscribers to play with. Feel free to send me a message on Xbox Live. So, um, that's pretty much the best chance you have of playing with me is to follow me over on Twitter. But anyway, the number one question I get when people play with me on Xbox Live is, hey, Superior, what gun are you using or what class setup or what's the best gun in Call of Duty Go? So, um, you know, I thought I'd kind of make a video addressing that and only that and pretty much for the past little bit on my channel a lot of people have thought that my favorite gun is the AK-12 and I've said that it's my favorite gun a multitude of times but recently um, I think it was about a week or two ago they came out with a patch and the patch just completely destroyed the AK-12 it added a ton of recoil it reduced the damage and the range so basically the gun to me is worthless and I don't really like to use it anymore and it, it, the majority of my kills that I have on Call of Duty Ghost is split between the Honey Badger and the AK-12, but as of recent, I haven't really used the AK-12 at all. As a matter of fact, I don't even have it on a class anymore. Um, so that kind of leaves the Honey Badger, and the Honey Badger is definitely my favorite gun. In my opinion, it is the best gun in the game. Now, I know it has an average rate of fire and a semi-low damage for an assault rifle, but the reason I love the Honey Badger so much is because it feels like a submachine gun. It feels like a submachine gun but it plays like an assault rifle and that that allows me the mobility and be able to be rushing in the spawn as much as I want and still having a gun with a lot of damage and a lot of range so um, it's a very versatile weapon which is almost 100% why I say it's the best gun in the game and um, you know it gives me the mobility that I need in order to get a fast-paced gameplay um, without having to compensate for damage or range or loss or anything like that now I know since according to me it is the best gun on Call of Duty Ghost, a lot of you want to see a variety of weapons on my channel and I, I believe me I, I do my best to do that but when I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost I don't play for gameplays, I don't play for I don't know to kind of like please other people out. Um, on, on what gun I'm using you know I play for fun I play to have a great time with my friends and my subscribers and people like that and it just seems like when I'm running around with a pistol trying to get a chem strike it makes that difficult so um, you know do expect some odd weapon KM strikes like the CBJ or um, I don't know a shotgun or something like that but don't expect anything too crazy um, like a knife chem strike or a pistol chem strike in non-hardcore or anything like that but definitely do expect more variety it's really even something I've been trying to go for um, as of recently and also the triple chem strike I've been close to it so many times um, I think that if I get the right party of subscribers that everyone's kind of working together we're all on the same page and uh, we're able to go into domination get a decent lobby and um, I don't know, just hold down the flags that we need to hold down. I do think I'll be able to get you guys that triple chem strike that I know a lot of you want to see. And, um, you know, a lot of the big pub snappers out there are able to get them. But, you know, me, I'm just I'm struggling to get it. Uh, but I promise it will be coming by the time Call of Duty Ghost is over. Uh, well, other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, follow me down on Twitter because that is the best way to get in contact with me if you want to ask me a question. Um, you know, I have my chem count over there. I think I'm at like 190 chem strikes total at the time of recording this video. Um, you know, that's not a lot of chem strikes at all, but I think after pub stopping for about two and a half months, I think it is now, um, I think that's a pretty good average amount. Um, so follow me on Twitter, like if you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go for 75 likes, that'd really make my day. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're nearing like four and a half thousand subscribers or something, which is absolutely mind-blowing i never expect to get even half that far on youtube and uh, drop a comment let me know what you guys enjoy using in call of duty ghost whether it be the bulldog or the ak-12 and what class setups you guys want to see what weapons or that i haven't already done other than that have a fantastic day everybody i am out